Alright guys, welcome to Dusty Crow Designs. Steph here bringing you another Let's Burn Pyrography video. If you don't know what Pyrography is at this point, um, or if you've just started watching my videos, Pyrography is basically the art of uh, burning designs into wood. Whether it be on wooden boxes, wooden key tags, wooden plaques, anything wood, you burn onto it. Um, and that's Pyrography basically. Uh, so this video is about a hexagonal pentacle box I've done. As you can see, there is a pentacle. Um, and I basically follow a sort of Celtic theme with this. So as you can see here, now onto the Celtic knot work. Um, this goes right around the sides. The only bit I didn't do was the very back panel of the box because no one ever really looks at the back of a box, in my opinion, or at least I don't. Plus I always put my signature there. So one thing to factor in with Celtic knot work is it is very hard to keep track of where the lines are going. So either keep your original design on hand or make sure you've traced it or transferred the design or drawn it out very clearly. Because um, at one point I think I did have to go back in with a pencil just so I could map out where I was going so I didn't end up burning the wrong lines. Because it's not a total, you know, mess up if you do burn the lines wrong. You can get around like sanding it back down or scraping out the burned bits but you do end up with a few blemishes in the wood if you try and do that with Pyrographer. Um, just so you know as well this box um, is now in a local spiritual shop. I've, um, it's one that I visit quite often actually. If you follow me, on, follow me on Instagram you'll see I post every now and then some bits and bobs that I've bought from there. It's called Creative Crafts. Because they do, well they basically do um, all your crystals, uh, candles, incense, body jewellery, um, scars, clothing, oils, the, pretty much everything you could think of that you might need for um, a spiritual journey or just general cool stuff if I'm honest. <laughs> So just so you know, this burn did take about three hours, not including the drawing and transferring of the designs, um, or waiting for stain and varnish to dry, it was three solid hours of video footage I recorded. Not solid hours I suppose, because I did take a few breaks in between, but yeah. Um, so it shows just how much work can go into any of these sort of things. Um, for the shading as well, I didn't want to do like traditional blended out shading, so I actually used like a stippling effect or dot work, you might call it, depending on who you speak to and who, who's doing it. So you can see like there, just like little dots. It's not as clear on the knot work as such, um, but you could see it on, on the top of the box in the pentacle design. It's literally a case of you do various density of dots depending on how shaded you want it to look as such. I think it just gives it a bit more texture rather than looking all flat and boring. And it's also good for like stonework effect because it'll make it look like more pitted stone rather than marble, I guess. But yeah, it's always fun to experiment and I thought, well, it, it's, it's a nice effect with this. And I did actually use it in a couple more boxes I made after this one, like small ones. In fact, you can see them stacked up in the back right there. And there's my signature. So there we go, so now we're on to the uh, staining effect, or staining of the boxes. Um, I'm actually using... I can't remember what it's called. Where's it? Indian Rosewood stain for this. So it's like a almost reddish brown effect. Um, a top tip for wood staining, or even just occasional staining like I do, or varnishing or whatever, buy some latex gloves. You can get them pretty cheap, a few quid and you get like 100 pairs of some at daft or 50 pairs, I don't know. I can't remember how many pairs I got. I know I've nearly run out though. Um, but latex gloves means that you don't end up going out with very strangely stained hands, which I have done a few times in the past. <laughs> because you'd be surprised at how f how it gets on everything and obviously always wear protective clothing unless you've got like a, an outfit that you don't mind ruining as such so sometimes I'll usually wear old clothes when I'm doing all like this but I have got like a, a big 
apron that mum gave me years ago which I've always used for when I'm doing artwork and stuff so it's absolutely covered in paint um, and I use that to, to protect my clothes. So in this bit you can see that I'm adding wood stain to certain areas to try and add like a bit more shading without actually burning any more onto the wood as such. I don't know if it worked out that well, I mean I can't, I can't remember, I haven't even got the box anymore, it like sits in the shop. But it was more just to try and add a bit more depth to the to the box. I, like I said, I don't think it worked out that well on this one. Um, which is why I was glad I did the, the dot work for a lot of the design originally. And then I'm just trying to blend it out a bit so it's not too obvious. Um, I do go around the, the Celtic knotwork and actually add more around the edges of that. Just again like to try and make it stand out a bit more so it's not blended in with the rest of the box as such. So guys, thank you. Um, I just want to say thanks for, for watching my videos and for liking them and subscribing. I know I'm still quite a small channel at the moment but I'm hoping to um, expand and grow and get a lot more videos up in this new year. Um, I'm actually going to be trying to put more work into it as, as we get further along in the year and stuff. Um, and I do appreciate everyone that does watch. Um, I think I'm now up to 2000, over 2000 views now which is good slowly getting there <laughs> um, so yeah I just want to say thank you and always say as usual as most youtubers say now if you are enjoying my videos please hit the like button like the thumbs up because it means I know I'm doing something good um, obviously always feel free to comment if you've got any ideas or you think I should do something better or different please let me know I'm still quite new to this whole YouTube thing um, and it's always good to get a bit of feedback from people that watch my videos. If you think I'm rambling too much, let me know because I can cut it out again. <laughs> I can go back to just music if that's what you're wanting. And hit subscribe as well so I know that people are wanting to see more of me. <laughs> or hear more of my voice and see more of my videos. Yeah, sounds more right. Um, but yeah, just, just let me know how it's going guys, please. Thank you very much for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!